Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of Eyes. We're jumping in for another little Eden run here and we've got some interesting items. We've got the time itself shots, which as you can see fires little Steven shots. Basically, if we hit an enemy with one of those, they become a multi-dimensional baby sort of thing where if we shoot through them, it'll duplicate our tears. But more importantly, we've started with the Infernal Covenant, which sounds very interesting. It grants us a passive item from the current room's pool and removes some heart containers. After being fully charged without getting hit, we get to keep the item and are given back the hearts. So basically, with this, I mean, I'm going to pop this straight away, because I think this lasts through a few rooms, doesn't it? Uh, basically, the way this is going to work is we can get ourselves some nice little secret room items um, for a cost, and we can actually get to keep those items, provided we can do 12 rooms in a row without getting hit, which is honestly a slightly tall order. Um, I don't expect that to be super duper easy, uh, but I'm interested in the prospect of being able to try and make this item work. Lovely stuff. Our item room is going to be the Alchemic Notes, which we've actually used before. Um, they are pretty good, but we are going to be sticking with what we've got here. Uh, I just want to find a secret room before we try using this thing, because I want to be able to make the most of the items that we're getting out of it, of course. I want to make sure that we're actually um, utilizing... See, look, there you go. That's time itself helping out a ton. I want to make sure that we can get some cool secret room items and stuff, or even like devil room items, or at least just some item room that's going to be item pool, sorry, that's going to be sort of more relevant. Now, that's a charge there, so we'll leave that right where it is. I'm assuming batteries will work on this thing. I ought to try and keep my uh, my hearts if I can. But we we will see. We will see. Okay, our, our, uh, our thingy is worn off now. Our, our reverse Empress. It was good while it lasted. Probably could have found some better uses for it, but it was good while it lasted. Okay, so let's have a little look around and see if we can figure out where secret room might be. We've only got one bomb here, so I'm not... Didn't mean to pick that up, obviously. Uh, let's see if it's here. It's not, unfortunately. We did get a bomb back. Got an eternal heart there as well. I'll grab that. Oh, that automatically became a heart. Did I already have an eternal heart that I wasn't aware of, potentially? Okay, so at the minute, I'm completely unsure as to where Secret Room is. I think I know a second Secret Room is, at least, though. A little annoyed that I uh, accidentally picked up that goddamn key, though. It was too close to the door, and I just walked right on into it. Honestly, I should have expected it. Oh, my God. Careful. Okay, this is probably second Secret Room, so we can at least see what we can get from here. Um, oh, this is regular Secret Room. And then we did that, and we got... I don't know what item that was. Touching an enemy charms it. Wow, that is... Uh, not not the best item we could have got there. Perks. Okay. This guy should not be too bad at all, especially with uh, this item here. Whoa, that is a that's an interesting looking fly there. Is that new? That was something I haven't witnessed before. That was that was weird. What, what what's going on with you? I, I've I've seen the big flies before, obviously, but there's a new sprite for them, apparently, and I, I like it. Having chunky flies have their own unique sprite is kind of cool. But yeah, now we've just got to charge this whole ass item without getting hit. Like I said, batteries probably do work, but we're not going to know because the battery... Oh, god damn it. Wasn't expecting that. A gummy bear as well here. Amazing. That's a pretty decent all stats up. Okay, we'll carry on down the regular path here. Gummy bear off the bat. One of the better um, boss items you can get. Um, and we've just got 11 more rooms to go without getting hit, which honestly I'm not super, super duper confident on, but we can try our best. We've got good damage and stuff, so that at least is a, a saving grace. We are able to kill things reasonably quickly here. Okay. Boom, boom, boom. And there's a spider over here. Got him. And that's going to count for two rooms as well there, so that's kind of nice too. So we do got a few ways out of this, other than just clearing a whole 12 rooms. Now, enemies like this can be a bit wary, because spread shots like that, they tend to hit me in ways that I cannot predict. This guy spews out spiders, right? We can get spider bite from him, if I remember correctly. Yeah, I'm going to stay the hell away from the, the, the creep on the floor. I'll take a pill. Why not? Um, it could be 48 hour energy. I never remember what fish oil does. Is that tier size up? Something like that. Or is that is that the one that means that uh, we have more iframes? I never really remember. There's a charge key. Oh, okay. So the charge keys don't work anyway. So I don't feel quite as bad now about losing that previous one. I'm, uh, I'm a little more uh, okay with that fact now. Okay, let's be very, very careful for these bouncies because uh, they, uh, they tend to creep up on me. Luckily, they've not been too bad to us here. 
And plenty of bombs to work with for secret rooms. Always want to try and line enemies up because, like I said, we get that sort of multi-dimensional baby type effect. We can get a hell of a lot more damage. And obviously, just the fact that it's piercing out of that. So I think it's well worth it. And we get Carolina Reaper, uh, Fevel Fire, which curses the enemies to take more damage. Very, very nice for killing bosses and such. Just, well, just very, very nice in general, but specifically quite good for killing bosses. We're doing okay so far. We got ourselves an empty heart here for a revive. Should we need it? I believe that's what that does. I can never really remember. Oh, uh, unfortunately, we got one of these flies. Yeah. Luckily, the item that we lost there wasn't particularly amazing, so I'm not feeling too bad. I think that did fully charge our active, though, when that occurred. I'm not entirely sure if that's what happened there, but it feels like it was, right? Now, Secret Room yet again eludes me here. Um, we'll see if I can find it, but I'm not the most confident. But I'm going to be going for Secret Room pretty much exclusively here, uh, just because that's potentially the most fun. Ooh, interesting stuff with bombs there. Yeah, I think that's potentially the most fun. But where could Secret Room be in this scenario? I guess it could be here again, but that, that bomb was likely to hit it. I'll still try it anyways. Nah. I said that other bomb would have been likely to hit that, wouldn't it? We've got plenty of bombs to work with, though. Got a thin room here. It could be in the crook of the L. The L-shaped rooms tend to, have a, tend to have a decent chance of being your room. Was this our starting room? Yeah, I think it was. Okay, I think we're going here. Yes, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. And we did actually get an item here. So room bag we just get to keep. Very nice. And let's see what we get this time. We got the butterfly, which is actually pretty good. Uh, hitbox size reduction to just that red dot there, which is good for just not getting hit as much. And then we also, on occasion, fire some uh, really, really strong homing tears that deal extra damage. And I think we get some bonuses for, like, near misses too. Um, we get some damage bonuses for, like, a near miss shot. Pretty good stuff. Pretty good stuff. It's a it's a good item. I'm hoping we're going to be able to keep it. But at least now we know that we can't go buying batteries to make this easier on ourselves. But the item itself is going to help with uh, killing enemies more quickly. As you can see, those homing shots are pretty good. I'm hoping we can get one of our uh, Carolina Reaper fires to hit and do some business for us here. Not going to rely on it, but it would be nice if it could help us out. He's going to do a slam in a second. Got to be ready for that. Okay, we're good. A nice easy kill on that guy. And we do get the screw as well. Devil deal. Do we want a devil deal here? I mean, this is a pretty good devil deal right now. Okay, I think... I think I'm going to gamble here pretty heavily. I think I'm going to take these and then I'm also... I'm not quite sure why I died there. I'm guessing the packed thing that took the health away from me took a lot more than I assumed. But luckily we had that revive heart and that kept us going. That was a bit risky. I definitely should have done that the other way around, I think. But hey ho, it, we're alive um, with two black hearts now. So a little, little more risky than we're hoping. But luckily that didn't count as taking damage. I'm, I was assuming it wouldn't, but you never really know if Isaac's going to screw you or not. Um, but my question of the day today, just because we just got a Four Souls based item, have any of you played the Banning of Isaac Four Souls? And if so, what did you think about it? Uh, I've actually got it. I, I was a, a backer of the Kickstarter and I have like all the expansions and stuff in real life and I've played it quite a few times. I really, really enjoy it. In fact, uh, just the other night, um, me, uh, me, my girlfriend, and then we invited a few friends around. We all got a bit inebriated and, um, and played it and it was funny. Like, n b it was people were just not remembering what to do. No one really knew what they were doing. It was just, it was just fucking chaotic is what it was. Uh, but it was, it was really funny. I really don't like the idea of this. Okay, that was okay. That was okay. We still got a while to go for our charging. And I'd really like to keep this butterfly item because it's, it's actually quite good. So, I mean, also I don't want to take damage because honestly, we don't have a lot of health to work with here. Um, hey, we got an item straight away out of that guy. Unfortunately, it was an item that I don't particularly care for. It is what it is. Okay, that was close. The fire actually destroyed some shots there. I actually paused that on purpose to try and see what was going on there, and it slightly screwed me. But as you can see, with the with the Johnny's knives, they just kind of like dash around the room as we're holding fire and try and attack things for us. Increase tier size. Okay, that is what fish oil does. Good to get that confirmation there. Stay out of the way of all that business. Stay out of the way of all that business. 
And we got four rooms to go. There's certain enemies that we really need to be very, very careful of. Is that my creep? I don't know. I don't think it is, right? I don't, I don't see I, I, that I'd have anything that'd be spawning creeps. I don't think it is. And we got two rooms to go. But it does seem to be my creep, you know. I think it is. Because it seems to be spawning pretty regularly. Maybe it's Johnny's Knives that's doing it. I, did, I, I just didn't fully read the description there. Okay, so literally now we just have to one-shot the boss. We did just get Spoonbender. That's very, very nice. That's a good addition. That's a good addition. I will tr check the shop as well for a soul heart here. Uh, unfortunately not. We got Wicker Man though, which is potentially good. We got pretty big tier size right now. We just got to one shot this boss. Uh, we cursed the boss as well there, so double damage for a little while here. That's very, very nice. Easy. Okay, so now that that's charged, we have permanently gained that item. And we can actually gain a devil item here if we'd like. But again, I'm probably going to go for secret room because they're just more fun. Uh, Slick Spade is good. Um, I think we're just going to take Slick Spade in this case. Although, I think I might actually take Slick Spade and the Devil Dagger. Okay, I didn't realize that was a teleport penny. At least I got the Slick Spade. Uh, right, let's try and figure out. We've only got one bomb to work this out. Where would Secret Room be? Okay, it's not there. This thin room means it's not either side of here. That poop means it's not there. Okay, it's looking like it's looking like it's right here. Beautiful stuff. And we got ourselves whatever the hell this is. Black Plague replaces all your hearts with rotten hearts, adds black look um black abyss locusts. Looks have a chance to spawn temporary black death locusts when hitting an enemy by the looks of it. Okay, that seems pretty good. Our health is a little risky now. Um I did take away a few more hearts than I was expecting. But we are good to go to the next floor. And we can try and keep that alive. So I'm liking this. There's a lot of risk-reward in this run. But we're able to get some interesting stuff. And we're getting some cool uh, modded secret room items here. Uh, definitely some, some more interesting ones. But yeah, this is interesting as well. Because we have such a big incentive to not get hit. Our health is low, so we don't want to die. And we want to keep our items. So there's just always such a huge incentive to make sure we're keeping our uh, ourself in check. I see you there. Making sure we're not getting hit. And yeah, the fact that you can't charge it with batteries is, is a very good design choice. <laughs> I think that could potentially make it very easy. Um, player farts charming all nearby enemies and adding six purple wisps. These wisps charm nearby enemies when destroyed. Okay, I guess I'll give that a go. The lovely gem. We gained a soul heart from somewhere. Where do we gain that soul heart from? Okay, there's our wisps. They do fire herming shots as well by the looks of it. Nice. Certainly ain't got any qualm with that. Now, I do wonder if items that increase the charge rate of your active would work. This looks secret roomy to me. It's not. Wow, okay. Bit of a waste of a bomb there. Probably, I'll probably find out right here that wouldn't have worked. Oh, no, no. That, that could have worked. That's probably the place I still would have guessed then. I thought my impatience had done me in there. Luckily, it had not. Okay, we've got enough for a shop now as well. Very, very nice. Very, very nice. But yeah, how have you guys been enjoying the content recently as well? Are you liking this this sort of new style of just, like, checking out random stuff? The, the, the runs tend to be a little more overpowered, but I think we're showcasing more modded stuff and they're a bit more interesting to watch overall than just me trying to win on a bad run. Because we are still having some runs where we die and having some runs that are challenging. It's not like we're steamrolling at every opportunity. Um, but on average, they're a bit easier. Brother Bobby, of course, not the... Uh, not the coolest cat. Where did we get five bombs from? I was not paying attention. We had, like, no bombs a second ago. We've got two rooms left before we get to keep our item permanently here. Just keep ourselves at a distance from some of these enemies. Oh, we managed to bleed you. Lovely. Anzus is going to help us with that secret room finding. Uh, we'll do this next room here just so we get our uh, thingy back. There you go. Gained our item permanently. we got a charge. Now we can go over and uh, do our secret room and get another one. I wonder what we'll get this time. I'm guessing it can't give anything active, like putting an active on the ground. I think it's just passive items, which is preferable. We got rock bottom in the last room we recorded, so maybe maybe we got something like that in store again today. Who knows? Who knows? Yeah, this is very obviously secret room, actually, looking at the uh, 
the room. Ooh, good stuff here. So let's pop this. We gained some sort of mushroom that gave us an all stats down. Okay, that was pretty bad, actually. In fact, I think we want to get hit to get rid of this, so I'm probably going to get hit. Because I think we still, get, we still get to keep the three black hearts, so getting hit is actually preferable here. China heart, very, very nice. Um, will this charge this? It does not. Okay. Good to know. Good to know. But yeah, I think we actually do want to get hit here. Um, caffeine pill. I'll spend a black heart. Yeah, so we lose that item and gain our stats back, but we kept the black hearts that we gained from it. So pretty positive there. And I like the fact that you instantly gain a charge back when you lose your item. So you've, you've always got the opportunity to get another item going. I like that a lot. It's a really, really cool way of doing this. So now we get another opportunity. And it actually means... Thinking about this, it actually means that we can roll for a good item as long as we have the health to facilitate. So this time we got Epic Fetus, which is uh, not an item I was predicting, but not a terrible item. I've not done an Epic Fetus run in quite some time, but do we, do we want to keep this? Epic Fetus is one of those items that's a lot of fun. But it's very limited because the synergy potential is is kind of low. It has some really cool synergies. And I think with Herming, it's going to be pretty good. I, I think it works with Herming. Yeah, I like the fact that we can we can sort of re-roll until we get something that we, that we want here. Yeah, okay. It does work with Herming. Good. That makes it a lot better. You're kind of useless with this much mapping already done. Yeah, you're not really going to be of any use to me, are you? Unfortunately, Johnny's knife gets a little worse with this because we have to hold down fire. Luckily, the herming does help. Oh, Fiend Folio is causing an error there. Um, bit of meat. Lovely. I guess we'll just see if we end up keeping it at this point. Epic Fetus is kind of on the line now. If we end up keeping it, then cool. If not, then we'll have to just carry on. One second. Let's keep this, keep this rolling and see if we keep what we got. Uh, books. It doesn't matter which one of these we take because we won't be keeping it. take one. The, I think the, the, the big thing about Dr. Fetus that makes it so good is the explosion radius is kind of insane. Secret room already here. Vanishing twin. Randomly. Now, does this count as me taking damage? No, it doesn't. Good. We get to keep our fetus. Cool. I'll take vanishing twin, most definitely. And we can use the heart of China there to get an additional heart container. I like that. Oh, I did not realize there was blue blocks there. One thing that's really annoying about Dr. Fetus right now, actually, is the herming's kind of very grippy. So, like, if I herm onto one enemy that wants to change target, it doesn't really want to let me. It kind of wants uh, wants to keep on target with the original enemy it started herming on, which causes some potential issues. Okay. Taken care of. Soul heart there. In fact, could potentially be in for a few soul hearts here if we get lucky. There's another one. It was weird. That one kind of didn't look like it came from the fire. What we need is some... Um, I, th I think bomb upgrades work for Dr. Fetus, right? I can never remember how that works. Take out these fires. Hey, the health is going very well right now. You see what I mean there? I was trying to like move away from that death's head and it just wasn't really having it. Got a Yera there with nothing to Yera. Lovely. Ah, oh, balls. I got hit. Okay. Unfortunate, but not the worst in the world. Right, let's before we clear any other rooms, actually, let's let's do these two first, see what we got going on. Tractor beam, I love, and I'm actually really happy I lost uh, thingy now. Uh ooh, mother's love I also really like. We got a lot of stats from that already. And we got the swindler. Pretty good stuff. Right, let's go back to our secret room and get another item. And I think we actually have enough health to do some... Oh, bollocks. I don't want to do this. I'm going to bomb out just to make sure I don't complete this room. Thank you. And I say I want, I want that charge. I want that charge for later. Right, so we pop in here and we get uh, another tumor-based item. Yeah, okay. I'm not particularly that interested in that, so I'm going to... I'm going to go and um, take some damage to an enemy. Oh, wait. Actually, will those spike box count? Hold up, hold up, hold up. Now, I'll just do it in here. Oh, 
Oh, the thing is that I do permanently lose the health, don't I? That's something I didn't think about. So it is, it is a bit risky. That's a lot of health to lose, and that is not a good item. Not a good item at all. Okay. Doesn't really work as good as I was hoping it would. You lose a lot more health than I was anticipating you'd lose. Um, so that obviously not the best there. And this, 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 this guy is just like, not it, chief. I'm going to give this guy some money. Yeah, I'm not the, the most happy now, actually. Why did that stop the music very briefly? That was weird. Ow. Okay. Digars, I will take. Thank you. Yeah, my health is not looking good right now. Ayo. Swindler, you do your thing. Hypno ring, I like. Devil disc. That is an interesting devil disc. Got some good items there. Devil. Oh my goodness. That's surely some items. If you'd like to pop your head up and stop wasting my time, good lad. There you go. If only we could somehow keep all of these. Imagine if using it as the uh, as the straw man just, let, just, just gave you those items to the straw man permanently. Oh, how I wish for that to be true. I'm liking the setup right now. Swindler's got something to give us. Remembrance, I like it. Thank you. Holy wow. This this setup right now is kind of insane in terms of damage. And we get two items here. Oop, I gave one to Swindler. Uh, but not Swindler, you know what I mean. By accident. Um, ooh, these cost money now for some strange reason. Is that because I've got the Keeper with me? I mean... Honestly, I don't mind it, so I'll take him. Thank you, good fella. Right, to the next floor. So yeah, Strawman's not exactly an item that I'm that I'm hellbent on keeping, but he can stick around until he dies, I guess, or until I uh, inevitably get hit before I end up getting him permanently. I keep forgetting I've got Brimstone and not shooting at the right time. There's another item, unfortunately, not the best of best. I do like that Brimstone. Okay, our free trials are ending now, so Brimstone is unfortunately gone. But I think we've got enough prowess to be able to shit on some enemies anyways. Swindler's doing some stuff again. Magic pen. Is this... Okay, that's an active item, so we don't really want that. Um, Double tap to fire rainbow creep. Give me that. Oh, that counts as a familiar. Very nice. We have some stats for that. Technically, the Porky ally might as well. Okay, so I think Strawman after this room is ours for good. He has become our child. I could be using this in regular rooms as well, mind you, but... Just not as worthwhile, right? Right, we've got to go back and try and find our uh, secret room here. we got uh, golden bombs here, so it shouldn't be that taxing to do so. There you go. And this time we got Tulip. When an enemy dies, all their enemies are downgraded. Okay, that's pretty good. That's pretty good. Didn't realize that was a secret room item, but thank you nonetheless. We'll see if we can keep it. When we were firing Brimstones, we were firing out tons of those fires that uh, weaken enemies. Not quite as crazy anymore. Yeah, Strawman's one of those ones where I just kind of wish that he'd, it'd like, randomly give give him a few of the items you already have, like, off the get-go. Because he's so worthless when you get him, like, at this stage, because he's got no items. We'll give him the negative so he's got some more damage. Yeah, he's not exactly doing the best of jobs, really, is he? Um, Unfortunately, I can't afford that, my good lad. I'd take it if I could. Right. To the next floor. 
But I think we, I think so far we've managed to get a good few interesting items out of this. We got an XL floor here as well. Good few intriguing items. I really like the fact that we got Mother's Love with with so much going on for that. Mother's Love is a is it's one of those items that I'm like I don't particularly like it when developers put like items in the wrong pools. And I I do think that the shop pool is one of the ones that is most egregiously abused. Um, but I actually think Mother's Love in the shop pool is an interesting one because even though it does give you stats and damage as one of those stats. It's not that bad because it's very conditional. The only thing I'll say about it that makes it a little bit powerful for having been in the shop is the fact that it, um, the fact that it will uh, give you a what's it called soul of Lilith on pickup. If it didn't give you the soul of Lilith and it was just like if you have familiars you gain stats, then I think it'd be a bit more balanced. But also I do understand why uh, you'd want it to give you a soul of Lilith because it's a completely random familiar. Um, and it it doesn't feel like one of those items that you could get on Cast the Blind and it literally do nothing for you. Um, that could be like a bit poopy. Or, or if you just didn't know what it did and you picked it up and literally nothing happened, that'd just be a bit upsetty spaghetti, wouldn't it? Good, good, we gained that item permanently though. Okay, so now Secret Room's gonna be a little harder to find here. I'm just gonna start bombing random walls and hoping for the best. <laughs> Okay. Apparently my intuition for secret rooms is much, much better than I anticipated. Ooh, we got the one we can bomb walls for red rooms. Interesting. Ooh, and not only that, we got this turns all trinkets into cracked key. So have we got a trinket anywhere? We, we haven't actually found a trinket so far, but we'll keep that with us. Um, nice. So this is an item we obviously really want to keep. I'm going to quickly head on back a little bit here. But yeah, if we can find a trinket, that would be ideal. Because then we can get a cracked key. And the reason we want a cracked key is so we can see where the wall borders are. So we can see where to buy uh, thingy rooms. What the hell is this? Dreamer's Orb. Um, grants unique fortune. 34 Sandy Familiars. Yeah, I was thinking that. The Sandy Familiars, I guarantee, will give us stats. And they did. It's a little annoying to fight this way, but it somewhat works. I'm going to keep doing it. Cool. Um, so, in theory, if I bomb here... Red room, baby. Oh, ho, that's what we're looking for. The instant payoff. The absolute instant payoff. What do you want to give us, Swindler? Well, that's not... That's, that's actually pretty nice of you, good sir. And we get ourselves Blood Puppy! Yet another familiar, and one that I... I love his chunky little body, so... He's... I'm, I'm glad to have him along for the ride. Let's go do that L-shaped room just to get more charges out the way with. Good, good. Easy. Monstro's Lung. We've got good fire rate. I think Monstro's Lung's a decent idea. I actually quite like Monstro's Lung as an item. Oh, Monstro's Lung is very, very good with our fire rate and uh, tractor beam setup, actually. A lot better than I was expecting. We get this kind of like triangle diamond sort of thing of shots. I like it. It's good. We're good for the boss, and the boss is dead, I think. Oh, there's two of them. I was like, why is he not dead? There's two of them. I forgot about that. Both dead. Vanishing twin, you confuse me every time. And we get snake oil for larger shots, which is going to be kind of crazy. And birthday cake, I think. I'm getting a lot better with the silhouettes of items, even the modded ones. I feel like that takes a lot of playtime. If, if any of you that are new to the channel are, are, are wondering how much playtime I have with some of these mods, I feel like that sort of stuff should give you a, a pretty good indication. Better Kick's pretty good. It's just going to give us some stuff when we travel to the next floor. But yeah, 
Hoping we can get a trinket here, but either way, I can bomb some walls anyways. Strength card. Whoa. Not quite sure what happened there. Not quite sure what happened there. Right, let's focus mainly on this item actually becoming real for a hot second here. We've only got one more room to not get hit in before it becomes a real item. There you go. Perthra. Perthra is pretty perfect here. I think I'm just going to use it. Um, Not the best of the best, but I'll take it. Okay. Put a bomb down there. Ayo. Oh, that's just regular secret room. I was trying to bomb into a red room. <laughs> No red rooms thus far. I do want to try and find my uh, my ultra secret room when I can. I could also potentially grab an ultra secret room item using our active from there and try and keep it. But at the minute, I'm a little unsure as to where I'm bombing. I'm, I keep finding secret rooms at the moment. I'll use this again. Oh, I got strange apple. I'll take it. Damn it, I don't know where the red rooms are. Oh my lord, I lost it instantly. Okay. Sorry, strange apple. Whoa, I gained a lot of health there. What the hell? I also gained some socks. Black Moon. I think this is just a, a TM trainers all your items and you respawn if you die. Which is somewhat interesting. Oh, dude, I lost it again. <laughs> Not doing too hot so far. We got Chaos. I mean, honestly, let's try and ride out Chaos into the next floor, shall we? Oh, our little friend died. Our little buddy. Puzzle piece. Honestly, where art thou red rooms? I, I genuinely have no idea right now. My health is not good, so let's uh let's skedaddle before we cause ourselves some issues permanently. Let's vamoosh. I'm glad we was able to keep the, the good items. Can I keep Chaos to utilize in the chests on the next floor? That would be fun. I need to be firing more often. My, char my charge rate is extremely fast, and I'm, I'm not utilizing my uh, fire, fire rate, really. I'm holding charge for too long. There you go. Right. Chaosified four chests here. Could we get something pretty awesome? I suspect yes. Wow, that was a lot of trash. <laughs> that was unfortunately a lot of garbage. Oh no, I lost chaos. It's a honestly really, really cool concept for an item this. Now let's try and not die. Really cool concept. Gives you an interesting way to, to, to gain items, but you have to be careful in order to keep them. But if you get an item you don't like, you can do some shenanigans as long as you have the health in order to re-roll it into other stuff. Which I think is pretty cool. Gives you just a bunch of different options. And outs. Like if you get an item you don't want, you can get hit on purpose to get rid of it and try for a new one. Like an item that might ruin your run, like Missing No or whatever. You don't have to keep it. Although, I think Missing No actually... I don't know. How would Missing No work? Because I'm pretty sure Missing No re-rolls you on pickup, but technically you don't pick it up. You just give it to yourself. So I don't think it would actually activate until going to the next floor. I think the on pickup effect wouldn't actually take effect. Ooh, we managed to kill him before he revived anything there. I'm very happy about that. This, this item that's like downgrading enemies when we hit kill nearby enemies is, is proving to be pretty good too. Wrong way here. Man, modded tractor beam is, is beautiful. Oh, we just got blood money. There's, there's going to be a lot of money dropping now. A lot and a lot of money. I'm not quite sure what the deal is with this room. Our knives are doing a somewhat decent job of killing some of these guys. Get 
get out of there. Ooh, just a bomb. Thank you. What a what a great gift, my little swindler. Swindler's just a great one. I think maybe I should do a I should do a run themed on Swindler uh, soon. I think that'd be quite fun. Swindler's like potentially really really good. Maybe what I'll do is I'll give myself like two or three Swindlers and maybe maybe this item, this blood money one. Um, because you can get a lot of money via blood money. Um, and we'll try and do a run where we don't take any items from item rooms and we have swindlers fund our entire run. Because as you can see, they're, they're giving us items to purchase on a reasonably regular basis. Um, as well as other stuff as well. I think that could be quite fun. At the very least, it would be interesting. I do like it when you get like... One item from one mod and one item from another working together to give you a cool effect. We do have to be a little careful. Our health isn't great at the moment. Thank you for the secret room. Not necessary. Unfortunately, my active is now unusable because I'll kill myself if I use it. You're good. We are good. Purity could be good here. Ooh. Siren's Call's decent. Another familiar. We've got a lot of familiars this run, so a hell of a lot. And I mean a hell of a lot of our stats came from uh, familiars being granted to us. I think that's why we're, we've got such insane fire rate. Because I'm pretty sure Mother's Call is breaking fire rate cap, which is yet another thing about it that's kind of insane. We might die here, by the way. Like, permanently. Oh, we do have this Full Moon's Call, though, don't we? Or did we get rid of that? I think we might have lost that. The one that TM trainers our items and revives us. I think, well, that, I think that one's actually gone. Yeah, we're on half a heart now, so we'll see how this goes. But this last phase isn't exactly the easiest to dodge when you've uh, got as much visual clutter as I do right now. Yep. <laughs> Unfortunate death on the boss there, but a fun run nonetheless. I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys in the next one.